Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm Tori Lynn. Let's blossom today. Since the holidays are like practically here, Thanksgiving's only a few weeks away, and Christmas is just around the corner, I thought I could bring you some holiday hair idea inspo. I'm starting with my hair curled. I just think that it looks a little more festive to be curled, plus I wear my hair curled like every day. So of course, all the styles I'm gonna show you work just fine with straight hair. I just like the look of curly hair. Um, so I have it all curled and brushed out. So our first look is gonna be like a sleeked back low pony with a little bit of hair wrapped around the band. I saw this hack a while back on Instagram, I wanna say, and I was like, that is so genius. So I'm just gonna pull my hair back in a really nice sleek ponytail. So I'm pulling it back, super soft, super sleek, very kind of almost a business-like. And I'm just gonna take a couple elastics instead of using a regular hair tie. And I'm going to just tightly band that all together. So if I spin around, I should have this really nice tight ponytail. So now here is where the fun trick comes in. You're gonna need two bobby pins. That's it, just two bobby pins. And I'm gonna spin around to show you. So I'm gonna grab a section of hair that I'm gonna wrap around my ponytail. But first, you're gonna take one of those bobby pins and you're gonna put it loop side up and you're gonna lay it right against the hair tie and you're gonna wrap your hair around the ponytail. So you're gonna continue to wrap until you get all the way to the end and just a little bit of hair right at the top. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to collect that little bit of hair into this bobby pin. We're gonna thread it right through the top, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're going to feed the bobby pin with the hair in it through the loop of the other bobby pin. This might take a little bit of some finagling to do on your own if you had somebody to help you. This would be so much easier. But either way, it's still a very easy hack. And you're gonna pull that hair right through that other bobby pin. This is kind of like feeding an eye of a needle with like one of those cheat things to do it. I don't know what they're actually called. <laughs> and so then you're just gonna pull that bobby pin through the hair just like that. And now you have a nice tucked in little piece to wrap around your hair. And then what you're gonna do, if you wanna add a little more volume, is to take a texture spray or something to that effect and really like puff up your ponytail, make it look super cute and sassy. But like, look how simple that was and it looks really cute and it just kind of like, enhances and elevates the look of a ponytail. I honestly would spray these down, these little baby wispies. I would either pull those down, because I like to have a little something around the face, or spray them down with some hairspray so they stay nice and slick. I think this would be perfect for a more like cocktail party, Christmas party, something where you're a little fancier and you want to look very elegant. I think this is the perfect look. Okay, so now we're gonna transition into the next hairstyle. For this hairstyle, you can part your hair wherever. I'm actually gonna part it down the center because why not? Changing things up, but of course you could keep your regular side part. I just feel like because the center is such a trendy part right now, we gotta go with it, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back about inch, inch and a half behind the hairline and you're gonna kinda of make this like halo around the head. So your bang pieces will be kinda of hanging out. 
And then you've got this bundle of hair in your hand. So then you're gonna take that bundle and pull it up into a nice high ponytail. I'm just gonna use a couple elastics and I'm leaving it kind of messy, a bumpy because I like that look. Gives it more of a textured look. So then we're just going to go ahead and elastic that all together. And now I've got this really fun high ponytail up here. Um, but we're not gonna leave it at that. We're going to continue taking this ponytail. I'm just gonna brush my ponytail out, making sure there's no loops or knots or anything too crazy in there. And I'm going to split that ponytail right in half. And I'm gonna twist those two, twist those two ponies and make like a twist. Just twist them together all the way down the line. And I feel like the trick to make a twist look good is to actually twist one at a time. So I crossed that one, now I'm gonna cross this one, almost kind of like doing a two-strand braid, if you will. If you try to twist them together at the same time, you end up with kind of one that's going right down the center and one that's looping around it. Doing it this way will ensure that you get more of a twist look to it. Now I'm gonna take another elastic and I'm just going to wrap that around the end of my twist. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of pulling on my twist. Gonna separate those pieces just a little bit, make them look a little bigger, fluffier, gives it more texture. Something about like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it and kind of twist it around on the top of the head. This is gonna make a fun, twisty, top knot situation. And then I'm just going to start bobby pinning until I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna start by bobby pinning the tail right into the hair, right underneath there, so the tail doesn't stick out. And then just kind of pulling and primping and doing whatever I feel it needs to give it the right security and to make it look just how I want it to look. So I'm gonna leave it about like that. Now, uh, something I don't actually have, but I think would look super cute, is to take like a fancier clip and do that cute little like side clip kind of thing that everybody's been doing on one side. So I just put in those standard bobby pins. Doesn't look as cute that way, but it would look super cute with some like bedazzled, adorable like Christmas or holiday themed uh, clips. But either way, I think this is a super cute, super simple, very, very trendy hairstyle for the holidays. Those little pin clips right there, oh, would be adorable. I wish I had thought about that ahead of time, but so here is the next hairstyle. I just think this is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna keep my hair part in the center for this next one. I think it'll look really cute that way. So I'm gonna start by just taking out a few pieces right at the hairline, like right at the bang. Just a few kind of wispier, curly pieces. Pull those out and leave them kind of down. I'm taking like maybe a half inch, quarter inch to a half inch thick section on both sides and just kind of leaving them. So now that I have those pieces separated, I'm gonna pull all of my hair over to one side. You can pick your side. I'm gonna bring mine over to my left side just because that feels right to me. <laughs> and so this time I'm gonna start by taking, splitting that section of hair right in half. And I'm not going to band it off this time. But now I'm gonna go ahead and start twisting these two sections. And twisting them around each other, all the way down the ponytail. So I'm gonna twist till I get pretty close to the end and then I'm going to elastic it off. Just use a little elastic to tie it all down. And if I was gonna wear this style all day, I would actually use a little bit of texture spray or some Stronghold hairspray on there. And then I'm gonna do kind of the same thing I did to the last one. And just make them look a little bit bigger and puffier just to loosen those up just a little bit, not a whole lot for this look. 
Not yet anyways. So got it kind of textured, fluffed a little. Now I'm going to just go in to the end and I'm going to take just a little section of hair. Like not very much hair at all, just a little section. And I'm going to start sliding this ponytail So then I slid that ponytail up as far as I could get it to go. It will be a little bit tricky here and there because the hair will kind of like stick together inside the hair tie. But you just kind of keep pushing it and working it up. And once you get it pretty far up, you should be able to kind of pull on those pieces, make them look even more fluffy and more textured. super cute like that so i'm going to kind of twist the whole thing just a little bit and then get those ends kind of tucked up behind the ponytail and then use some bobby pins to pin them in place it will definitely take a few bobby pins to get it to hold quite right Then I'm just going to kind of keep primping and pulling, doing what I need to to get it to look like super cute and twisted, but very, very simple hairstyle. Again, another extremely simple, super easy hairstyle to do that looks very cute, very elegant. And it took me like just a few minutes to do. The hardest part of the whole thing is getting that hair to all slide up the strand, but working with it, brushing it a little bit, it actually works pretty easy. Okay, I've got the last style here, and I actually think I wanna keep these pieces out. I wasn't going to, but I think it'll look super cute. I think it'll add a little extra to this look. So once I've got my hair all brushed out, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go down to kind of the corner of my temples, and I'm gonna do another halo piece here. Very, very similar to the second hairstyle we did. And I'm just going to brush this with my fingers because that will give it more texture. Brush it so it looks the way I want it to. And then again, I'm going to take some elastics and band that off. So then I'm going to take that ponytail and I'm going to split it right here and just give it a little twist. Just like that, you could do a little primping if you needed to, but do a little twist. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this little section with the twist in it up out of the way. Just going to kinda clip it up on the top of my head for a minute. So now I'm gonna take another section, just a, like an inch and a half below, and I'm going to band that section off as well. So it should look like this back here. So I'm going to let the top section down. And I'm going to shove my fingers through the hole of the top section. And I'm going to grab that second ponytail. And pull it through. And so then you should have this super cute, like fluffy ponytail going on. It's probably going to need some primping and some spray, maybe a little back combing in there to make it a nice big ponytail. But you should have this super cute, kind of fluffy looking, like high half up ponytail. And then of course if you don't want these pieces, it would be very, very cute to just smooth that so you had no part, or even leave them kind of looser and pull them in but I kind of like the look of those pieces. That's why I said originally I wasn't going to, but then I kind of just felt like, you know what, let's do it. Let's add those little face framing pieces. Very trendy that way, and it just adds a little something extra around the face. I hope this brings you guys some inspiration on some trendy, super simple, and very, very easy looks that you can do at home for the holidays. If you guys like this video, then give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.